How much money does Scrooge McDuck have? We're gonna figure out today how much money Scrooge McDuck has, but I don't want you to come at me with your DuckTales lore. I don't want you to tell me about the classic Mickey's A Christmas Carol. We're going to base our calculation on one piece of information and one piece of information only. This random comic that I came across while I was, you know, just, you know, just online, just doing stuff online. Welcome to today's Math Minute, only Math Minute guaranteed to be today. And of course, the only Math Minute where you are going to calculate how much money Scrooge McDuck can be said to possess. If Scrooge McDuck can spend a billion dollars every single minute, for 600 years and not go broke. Well, I guess not go broke until he has done this for 600 straight years. How much money must Scrooge McDuck possess? Initially, you might think of this as a very basic dimensional analysis kind of question. Scrooge McDuck can spend $1 billion per minute, and we are simply going to calculate out how much that is over 600 years. So we're going to multiply by 60 minutes in one hour, by 24 hours in one day, by 365 days in one year, and finally, of course, times 600 years. Looking at our units, minutes cancel with minutes, hours with hours, days with days, years with years, and we will be left with some answer in some number of dollars. So let's go ahead and calculate this out. One billion dollars times 60 minutes per hour times 24 hours in a day times 365 days in a year times 600 years. Whoa, that's a big number. Three, one, five, three, six, zero. And we're supposed to have, and we're supposed to have 17 total decimal places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Boom, 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 boom. So 315 quadrillion, 360 trillion dollars. Now there are a couple problems with this calculation. First of all, this is roughly 200 times as much money as actually exists in the entire world. However, that's not that much of a problem because I don't know if you know this, Scrooge McDuck actually doesn't live in our world. He lives in a different fictional world. So maybe Maybe in his different fictional world, they just have a lot more money and he has all of it. Or maybe they have a lot, a lot more money and he has some portion of it. So the fact that this is just a really, really large number is not actually that big of a problem. The much bigger problem is Scrooge McDuck is a businessman. This is the amount of money he pays out at a billion dollars per minute for 600 years. But that's not the same as saying that's how much money he begins with. Scrooge McDuck clearly, I mean, yes, he has pools full of gold doubloons, but he also has real estate holdings. He has businesses. He has skyscrapers homes, I guess that's real estate holdings, investments. Scrooge McDuck is a businessman. He doesn't need 315 quadrillion dollars sitting around to be able to pay out a billion dollars per minute because he's invested and his money is earning some percentage over time. So this number is actually far too high for how much money he needs to be able to pay out a billion dollars per minute over 600 years and then go broke. So let's make an assumption here. Let's say that Scrooge McDuck, being the wonderful businessman, businessman that he is can generate a 5% return over the course of your average year. So whatever amount of money he has invested, we're going to compute that at 5%. And let's just do a very simple calculation first. Let's do what's called a simple interest calculation to figure out how much money he would need at 5% to generate a billion dollars in interest, which he could then pay out on a per minute basis. Your simple interest formula is I equals P R T, where P is the principal, the amount of money you start with. That's what we're trying to figure out in this case. R is your interest rate and T is the amount of time. We want I to be a billion dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The principal we don't know. That's what we're gonna solve for right now. The rate we just said should be 0.05. The amount of time, this is a little bit tricky. We have to state this in terms of years because this is an annual percentage return. So if we're paying out a billion dollars per minute, we have to state a minute as some portion of a year. Fortunately, we actually kind of already did that. That's our 60 minutes per hour times 24 hours per day 
times 365 days per year. And so if we go back to our calculator and figure out just that part, we end up with 500... What? Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I've had this song in my head for weeks as I've prepared this video, and now you're gonna have to have it in your head. But it's true, there are 525,600 minutes in a year, and so one minute out of the year is one out of 525,600th of a year. Solving for P, we're going to get 1 billion times 525,600 divided by 0.05, and that's going to give us a much smaller number, still large, but 10 quadrillion, not 300 quadrillion, 10 quadrillion, 512 trillion dollars. That's how much money we need to generate a billion dollars of in interest every single minute. This is our upper boundary. The actual amount of money that he has if he's going to go broke must be somewhat less than this 10 quadrillion 512 trillion dollars. Because if he had this exact amount of money, he would end up in some kind of steady state situation where he could pay out a billion dollars per minute forever. Because he's generating a billion dollars in interest every single minute, he's never actually digging into the principal and the total amount of money that he has never gets reduced. Now what's interesting about this is even if he has just one cent less than this amount of money, eventually he will run out of money. It might take a very, very long time, but any amount of money less than this and he will eventually go broke. So we have our upper boundary on how much money would continually generate a billion dollars in interest every single minute for Scrooge McDuck. And again, any amount smaller than that would eventually lead to him going broke, but we need to figure out exactly how much less in order for him to go broke after precisely 600 years of paying out a billion dollars per minute. To be able to figure out that number, we need to talk about the time value of money. Imagine a scenario where I say to you, hey, I need a hundred dollars today and if you give me a hundred dollars today I will give you a hundred dollars one year from now that's not a good deal for you because I get the use of your money all year long and you get nothing so to make this fair when I pay you back a year from now I need to pay you back with some level of interest. Or another way to think about that is that if I'm going to pay you $100 a year from now, I should only get from you some amount less than that, depending on what's called the discount rate, which you can basically think of as a rate of interest or a rate of return. If we do this over a multi-year period, we have this formula here, present value equals future value divided by one plus that discount rate, for us that's gonna be the 0.05, raised to the n power, where n is some number of years. But since we're trying to evaluate this for a billion dollars every single minute, I think it'll be a little bit easier if we do an example that just uses $100 per year over a period of 10 years. So imagine, for the next 10 years, I have agreed I'm gonna pay you $100 every single year, beginning one year from today. We are going to use our handy dandy spreadsheet calculator, Excel, to figure out what amount of money do I need to invest today at that same 5% that we know Scrooge McDuck, the businessman that he is, can earn over time in order to be able to pay you $100 per year for the next 10 years. For this first value, we can just take $100 and divide by 1.05, that's one plus the 5% interest rate, raised to the first power. In our calculator, if you type that in or letting Excel do the work for us, you can see that's $95.24. Meaning the present value of the $100 I'm gonna give you one year from today at that 5% interest rate is $95.24. If I put away $95.24 today, I can pay you $100 a year from now. For that same payout, $100 two years from now, I just need to square that 1.05. And so again, using my calculator or using Excel, I can take 100 and divide by 1.05 squared, which Excel tells me is roughly $90.70. Of course, the beauty of Excel is that we can have it do this calculation for all of the next 10 years, and you can see those calculations here. And finally, we can just add all of those together to figure out that if we're going to pay off $100 per year for the next 10 years, and we can expect a 5% discount rate, that is, we can expect our money to grow at 5% per year, we don't actually need to set aside the full $1,000, we actually only need to set aside $772 and 17 cents. You might recognize these values are kind of telescoping downward. This is actually a geometric sequence. The numbers are getting smaller by a factor of 1.05 every single year. Of course, that's coming from the fact that we're dividing by an additional 1.05 
for each year later that we're going to pay off the money. With a little manipulation, we can represent this in a way that's going to give us back that same number, $772.17 that we needed to set aside to be able to pay off the $100 per year for each of the next 10 years. We're going to compute 10 different terms from one to 10, beginning at that first term, 100 divided by 1.05, and then of course times one over 1.05 for each of the next 10 years, for each of the next nine iterations, basically. Fortunately, there is a formula we can use to compute the value of this particular sum without actually adding up each of the 10 terms that it generates. In fact, without even knowing what those individual 10 terms are. That formula is going to be that initial amount, 100 divided by 1.05 times one minus the rate. Now again, this is a little bit confusing, but the rate is actually one over 1.05. That's how much it's telescope downward by each additional year, raised to the power that we need, in this case 10, that's the 10 different times that we do this, all divided by one minus 1.05, that exact same rate. When we type that into Excel, you can see it does indeed give us the exact same value, $772.17. Armed now with an equation, all we have to do is change the numbers. For example, we're not paying out $100, we're paying out a billion dollars. And we're not paying it out once per year, we're paying it out once per minute for 600 years. So our power is going to be 600 times 525,600 minutes. The rate is a little weird as well. It's not 1.05 anymore. It's actually one plus 0.05 divided by 525,600 because of course that's our rate per minute rather than per year. And that rate showed up a few different places. So we need to change all of those. One plus 0.05 over 525,600. One plus 0.05 over 525,600. Fortunately, the last thing we need to change is we can no longer do this in Excel. This number is so large and has so many digits that Excel actually won't calculate it for us. Or it will calculate it, but it's just going to approximate it. But we do have a couple different options for high precision online calculators. I found one here, caisson.casio.com. Thank you, Casio, for having an online high precision calculator. And you can see it does give us back a value that is quite close to that 10 quadrillion 512 12 trillion number that we saw earlier, but just a little bit less. And so you can see this number 10 quadrillion 511 trillion 999 billion 999 million 999,000 $16 and change. Meaning if we give Scrooge McDuck just about $984 less than that 10 quadrillion 512 trillion dollars, that would kind of steady state carry him at a billion dollars per minute forever and ever, that precise number will in fact guarantee that after 600 years of paying out a billion dollars per minute, he goes broke, goes to zero, has to liquidate all of his real estate holdings and whatnot. Of course, unless he's a magic duck, I presume he would have died several times over over the course of 600 years. But maybe he is a magic duck. I don't know. I don't know the rules of ducktails. If you want to try to calculate this out yourself, I have on screen now what the summation looks like that would generate this for us. Not for my made up calculation of $100 per year for 10 years. That was just to illustrate the formula, but precisely for 600 years, a billion dollars per minute at a 5% discount rate, how much money we would have to have set aside right now. I actually can't even run this in Wolfram Alpha because it takes up too much computational time, but I'm reasonably confident that what we typed into that high precision online calculator is the right number. However, if I made any kind of mistake in here, if you have some personal knowledge of Scrooge McDuck's financial situation, please comment down below and let me know. Like the video, subscribe if you know you want to see more calculations about fictional characters' wealth and other Otherwise, I will see y'all next time.